who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods, who is like unto thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. It's 6 p.m. West African time, 17 hours GMT. It's time for the patterns. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Will you quickly call someone, inform someone, remind someone, alert someone, copy the link, share it on all your social media platforms let someone know that that destiny transforming that destiny impacting that destiny liberating broadcast titled the patterns is on as usual it will be short sharp and punchy and i believe your life your destiny will be better for it in the mighty name of jesus christ we've been talking about the script have you gotten your own copy of the script? <laughs> Have you gotten your own copy of the script? Hallelujah. Glory to God. You need to get this book titled The Script. You need to get a copy of the book titled The Script. You can get it on Amazon. We're going to put it on seller very, very soon for those who are in Nigeria. But you can get it on Amazon or you can contact the phone number scrolling on your screen right now. The name is Biola. Get in touch with Biola. Send him a message. You will get a copy of the script across to you. You need to read this book. Your children need to read this book. Make this a birthday gift for someone. They will bless you for it. They will bless you for it. One of the greatest gifts you can give anyone is the gift of light, the gift of illumination, the gift of discovery. Because once there's a discovery, there will be a recovery. Remember the prodigal son? The Bible says one certain day, he came to himself. There was a discovery. He came to himself and he said, even the servants in my father's house are not living under this kind of condition. You know what? I'm going to go back to my father. I'm going to seek employment in his workforce. It is better for me to be a slave in my father's house than my condition here competing with pigs for their food. He made that decision. All the devils in hell could not hold him back from going free, from getting caught free that day. When you discover the script, when you discover the things written concerning you, no devil can stop you again on the path of destiny. That is why I'm so passionate about the script. I've told you before on this platform, I repeat it again, after salvation, after salvation, the next most important thing is the discovery of destiny. The discovery of destiny. That is why Paul said in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 16, thereabout, he said, God that saved me from my sins decided to use my life as a pattern to everyone else who will believe. What was the pattern of Paul's or Saul's salvation? You can read that in the book of Acts, chapter 9. The Bible says in verse 3, as he journeyed to the Damascus, they are shown a light from heaven. And we are talking about light on Church on the Waves every Tuesday. If you have not been joining us, make sure you join or go on all our social media platform and listen again to this to that message. Let there be light. There's a light called the light of destiny. Saul was on the way to Damascus. He thought he was doing the right things, but suddenly there shined a light from heaven, and that light knocked him to the ground. And a voice came and told him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? That means by that time, he had given his life to Christ. He has acknowledged Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And Jesus told him, I am Jesus that you persecute. Don't you know it is a difficult thing to kick against the priests and that is the life of so many people their life has their life is going through a lot of hardship a lot of assos a lot of assos because they are kicking against the priests they are kicking against the priests their life is going through so much pain so much pain because they are kicking against the priests if you refuse to act according to the script written concerning your life and destiny you'll be going through life as if one is kicking at the priest 
bricks. As if one is kicking at the bricks, I pray for you from now. Pain will cease because the light of destiny will shine upon your path in Jesus' name. The moment Saul was converted, the next question they asked is, what will you have me to do lord what is your assignment for my life what will you have me to do lord not what will you have me become lord it wasn't after the title apostle it wasn't after the title apostle it wasn't after the title disciple he just wanted to know what will you have me to do after salvation the next most important thing is the discovery of god's mandate god's assignment god's grace for your life god's blessing for your life. The path of the script is the path of destiny. The path of destiny is the path of the blessing. The path of the destiny is the path of grace. I pray in the name of Jesus, God will shine his light upon your path like he did upon the path of Saul. He was on the path of destruction. He thought he was doing the right thing. He was persecuting the church. He was zealous for God. But God knocked him down and redirected his step to the right path of destiny. Somebody is out there. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will encounter the light of destiny. In the name of Jesus, that is why you must not miss any series of Church on the Waves this month. We are talking about the light series. Let there be light. Let there be light. I pray the light of destiny will shine upon your path. It will redirect your life and redirect your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Get a copy of this book. It will save your life. It will save your destiny. I've shared with you on the last day. I saw great men, great and small. They were judged according to the things written in the books, according to their works. According to their works. Your works will be judged at the end of the day. Whether you acted in line with the script, life is a stage. Life is a stage. It will be judged whether you acted according to the script. I pray that you will not be marked wrongly. You will not be marked out. You will not be marked a failure. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why are we talking about the script? The Bible says, you know, I've told you the story before. Saturday, many years ago, I was doing my personal study and I stumbled upon 1 Samuel chapter 9. I decided to study the book of Kings. I wanted to read about the Kings again to learn from the lives of the kings of Israel the bible and i went to look for the first king which was which was Saul anyway and i found out that you know is the asses of his father got missing from verse 1 and then his father called him and called another servant to go and look for the asses the bible says after they are searched for some time they couldn't find the asses they are searched three other places they couldn't find the asses and then Saul said to the servant is there no seer is there no seer here to show us or to tell us the fate of those donkeys of those asses and then they went to meet Samuel and the bible says something striking which was what i came across that fateful day that brought about the light of the revelation of the script the bible says god has spoken to the ears of samuel for samuel chapter 9 verse 15 god has spoken to the ears of samuel a day before at least 24 hours before that time that tomorrow about this time i'm sending from the tribe of benjamin a man that is the one i've chosen as captain over my people then it dawned on me that day that the asses did not just get missing by chance, they had to get missing. They had to get missing because Saul must of necessity meet somewhere. And then the father, Kish, couldn't send any other person but his own son. He had many servants. Why did he send two servants? He sent his son because something had already been written, something had already been programmed that about this time. And that is why they couldn't find the asses in the three places they had gone to they had to walk according to the time that the script had written it at least a day before the script was ready at least a day before that tomorrow about this time somebody will walk in from the tribe of Benjamin that's the one I've chosen to be captain over my people Israel our God is so intentional our God is so accurate our God is so marvelous and that is how Saul walked into the script of God 
for his life. I pray for someone today under the sound of my voice. God will order your steps to this creed. You didn't join this broadcast by mistake. God has already ordered your step to learn and to hear about this book tied to the script. Get a copy of it. Read it. Listen to it. You know, I'm going to put the audio version very soon. We're going to get the audio book of the script. Then listen to it. Read it. Buy a copy for yourself, buy a copy for a friend. I believe their lives will be positively transformed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Following that revelation, then it dawned on me that life is a stage and we are all actors. Everything has already been written out. Then it began to God began to open my eyes, especially to the life of Jesus. The Bible says we should look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And that is when I began to find that everything Jesus did was according to the script. They gave back to him according to what Isaiah said that a virgin will give back and then he will be the savior, wonderful counselor, you know, savior of the world. And then when Herod was threatening him, God told his parents to take him to Egypt so that it might be fulfilled. I called forth my son out of Egypt. Everything that happened to the Lord Jesus Christ happened according to the script. That is why when he hung on the cross, and I round up with this today, when he hung on the cross, he made a very powerful statement. It is finished. Is that not looking like a movie? The end. It is finished. I've acted out the entire script. And there was another actor like that, the man we've been talking about since the beginning of this broadcast, the man Paul. When it was time to round up, he said, I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. And there's waiting for me a crown which the Lord has promised for me and for everyone who believes and, and is expecting the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray for you that you be able to say the same testimony at the end of your life you'll be able to say it is finished i've acted according to the script and there's a crown or a reward waiting for me in heaven that will be your testimony and my testimony in jesus name amen don't forget to get a copy of the script it will turn your life around and turn the life of everyone you give it to around positively in jesus name someone is out there you don't know jesus christ as your lord and savior just say this prayer after me lord jesus i've heard about this script today i need to begin to walk in your script for my life i am sorry for all my sins please forgive me and cleanse me with your blood from today i believe in my heart and i confess with my mouth that jesus christ is my lord and savior thank you jesus for saving me in jesus name amen congratulations if you said that prayer i pray god will open your eyes to see his plan and purpose for your life and you begin to walk in it in the mighty name of jesus christ i appreciate everyone that joined this broadcast today please go to god in prayer get a copy of the script find out a script for your life i pray you will act in line with it and you will fulfill your glorious destiny in jesus name amen i wish you a refreshing weekend join me on monday for word on the go god bless you keep you cause his face to shine upon you don't forget to join us on church on the ways we are talking about let there be light and there will be light in your life in jesus name always remember i love you so much god bless you bye